I'm Chaz Hogan, Australian journalist here at the Orioles Stadium in Dundalk, where just moments ago, Barla Town's under-19s defeated the home team 5-0 to move into the second knockout round of the Youth Champions League. Manager of the side, Chris Venables, said he was happy with the performance and looking forward to the next round. I'm Chaz Hogan, Dundalk. They need to get rid of that moron Aussie villain, put Venables in charge of the club. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to Season 5, Episode 13 of The Impossible Dream with Barla Town, our bid to try and win the Champions League with the Welsh club. Today we have uh, a game where we could potentially wrap up the Welsh Premier League against Carna Fawn, and then we face Partick Thistle in the Iron Brew or Caramel Wafer Cup. Uh, Caramel Wafer Cup? Something like that. Anyway, the semi-final against Partick Thistle. But before we get to any of that, look at what the under-19s have done. A wonderful, wonderful performance. 5-0 against Dundalk United, or Dund anyway, Dundalk's under-19, so I don't know if they're a United or a City or whatever they are, but anyway, we've beaten them 5-0, five, uh, five absolutely smashed them, and look at this guy here, Cian Peters is, I th when he came through the Youth Academy, I really didn't think he was going to amount to anything, he's got a full-time contract just because, basically, we can offer them, and he's really, really developing into a wonderful, wonderful player, he got five of the goals, uh, Guto Kingsley had a good game up there. Of course, we've seen him in the first team. I, I am putting some of the younger players down to play in this just to see how far we can go. Uh, Bookland uh, got himself a goal as well. Um, another person we've seen in the first team. Unfortunately for him, he's picked up an injury. I think it was a relatively serious one as well. Uh, but you can see that everybody did well. Curtis Owen, another of the youngsters that we've been bl uh, uh, blooding in the first team. He's uh, had a good game. Uh, and of course, Jay Jenkins, Jenkins got a goal as well. Another uh, youngster that we poached from, I think, Barry Town. Where do we get Jay Jenkins from? Uh, we seem to poach all of Barry Town's youngsters. No, it was Kevin Jewels for 325 of your uh, English pounds, or Welsh pounds, as the case may be. Um, so there we go. That was a really, really, really good performance. Now, before we get to catch you up on what's happened since last episode, there is one signing to announce. And this is him, Michael Stewart, a young Northern Irish striker. He says he can play as a winger. He can't. He can't dribble and he can't cross. He's a striker. Uh, but I think he'll do really, really well for us. He has been playing. We got him on a free transfer from Porter Down um, in Northern Ireland. He's played in their championship, banged in some goals. He got a few already this season in their premiership as well. Uh, so I think he'll do well. You can see he's played a couple of games for us with limited success. Um, but he's a really, really good finisher. He's got good off-the-ball movement, good composure and technique as well. Physically, he's, he's quite good. The only thing perhaps lacking is strength, but he, we can work on that. Uh, but he's got really, really good pace, and he's not the worst in the air. Heading of, uh, of heading of 11 and jumping reach of 10, but good off the ball. Um, I think he's going to do really, really well for us. And like I say, we got him on a free. What's the worst that can happen? Um, so that is a new signing, Michael Stewart. The transfer window so has otherwise come and gone. We haven't got anybody else out. Richard Bakari was the only one that left. Um... So for this season, we spent £95,000 and we got in 66 uh, back. Most of that, of course, for Nebula at the start of the year. Um, but there we go. That is the transfer window wrap-up done. Um, now, we've got a couple of other things to catch you up on. But I think before we do any of that, let's have a look at how we've gone in the game since last episode. Starting with, of course, Barry Town looking for revenge after our Welsh League Cup semi-final defeat. We got the perfect start when Simich pounced on a loose ball. And we doubled our lead when Sam York picked out Adam Maurice. Maurice doubled his tally on the hour mark when Dan Biggs found him at the back post. And Joe Newton's cross beat everybody in stoppage time for our fourth. So there we go. We did get revenge. I mean, I don't know if it makes that much of a difference to either of us. We're going to win the league and they're already into the final of the cup. So, um, yeah, I don't know how much of a revenge it is, but it was good to get the win anyway. Simic with a goal, Maurice with two, and Joe Newton with a bit of a fluke at the end there. Uh, you can see this. We smashed them. We deserve to win. Um, but it's, yeah, sort of very much a second prize ribbon, isn't it? Next up, we played Clonelli in the Welsh Cup. Uh, yeah, Welsh Cup, the proper cup, uh, in the fourth round. We took a 20th minute lead when Burke crossed for Sears. And Burke doubled our lead moments later from the spot. James Wake pounced on a poor goal kick to put Dan Williams in for our third. Before Clonelli went down to 10 men. And we took advantage of the extra man in stoppage time when Sears crossed for Burke. 
So it was just too good for them. They didn't register a shot on goal, never mind on target. Uh, it was Sears. It was Burke with a double and uh, Daniel Williams uh, with a goal. Now, Daniel Williams, at this, he was, went through the transfer window under massive, massive interest of, uh, from Reading. Uh, I almost accepted a bit. I think we got him up to almost as high as 100,000. Um, but I couldn't really find anybody this good to replace him. And he's still young. And he's on, only on relatively low wages as well. So in the end, I sort of bailed out of it. Uh, I think he's, is he still wanted by Reading? Yeah. Um, so it might be something that can happen in the summer, perhaps. But right now, I don't want to let him go. Um, but that was sort of a bit of transfer news there. Uh, so that was that. Next up, we played the New Saints in the league. Now, we've had a bit of a dodgy record against them. How did we do this time? We were behind early when we failed to clear our lines and found ourselves 2-0 down at halftime. Reese Williams pulled one back early in the second half before new boy Stewart crossed for Sears to head us level. And we completed a stunning turnaround when Wake picked out Sears for him to continue his amazing goal scoring form. So there we go. I thought it was going to be another case of, uh, oh dear, it's the New Saints uh, bogey team again. But it was a horrible first half. We were dominant in the second half, particularly that 10-minute spell. Reese Williams and Ryan Sears, goal machine, um, with two to make sure we went on and won the game. In the end, we deserved it. Well, I mean, we really, really did deserve it. It would have been a crime if we hadn't won the game. But we've seen crimes against uh, the New Saints happen before. So I was really, really happy with that. We've got the, Maybe we're just a bogey team on YouTube. Maybe that's what the problem is. Um... But yeah, stunning second half turnaround. And the final game to catch you up on was another league game against Caffin Druids. We took a first half lead when Burke picked out the run of Simic. And we doubled our lead before half time when Sears' block shot fell for Ormark. Burke crossed for Sears early in the second half for him to get his customary goal. Before Burke rounded off the scoring from the spot. So there we go, smashed them to pieces. I should say this game and the New Saints game were both after the split. Uh, but this one, it was Simic, Olmark, Sears again, and Burke again. Our wingers, or wingbacks, slash fullbacks, they're getting so many goals this year. But you can see there, 30 shots to two, 12 on target to two. Dominant barely is, does, it, well, you know, does the word justice. But look at this, our wingbacks absolutely just running rampant right now. Absolutely stunning stuff. If you have a look at what all that means for the league table, uh, we did have a friendly in there against Barry as well because we had a, a week's break just to make sure that some of the, the fringe players got some match, uh, match time. Um, but there we go. We are currently, uh, what are we? Oh, I've got to do maths again. I think we're 20, 19 points clear. I think we're 19 points clear. There is eight. Wait, let me let me figure this out again. Okay, so I think I've got this clear. So right now, if we're, there's eight games to go and we're 19 points clear. If we win and they don't win, we'll be 22 points clear with seven games to play uh, or 21 points clear if they draw with the goal difference will effectively make us champions. Um, so there is a chance that we could that we could do it today. Let's go have a look at the team we're sending out to face uh, kind of Fawn, and this is it. We are away from home. They do have a new manager, Reese uh, Griffiths. Um, so I hate playing new managers, but we should be good enough anyway. Kind of Fawn. Look how close it is between second and down to fifth. There's only two point three points between them. So it's it's really interesting behind us, um, sort of for that second, third spot in Europe. Uh, but let's have a look here. Right, uh, Reese, Reese Griffiths, yeah. Uh, decent enough manager. Uh, as I said, he's just come in. only been in the job for 12 days. Direct balance pl uh, playing style. If we have a quick look at what we're expecting here, and it could change because we don't really know too much about him. He's only probably had a game or two in charge. They, they did lose to Barry Town last time out. We're expecting a bit of a uh, the Rusko bus park here as, as a formation. We can see they're a little bit narrow defensively. Their passing network and their key passes as well. Not too many of them, and they're shorter passes when they do happen. This is a team we're sending out. There, are, there is a chance. Let's not forget that Luke Bussenbrew, with a goal in this game, will become our all-time goal scorer uh, at the club. So it's Jay Cock in goal. It's Lewis. It's Reese Williams and Gosney as the back three. Sears down the right. Maurice down the left. It's York who signed a new contract. Uh, as has Gosney, actually. They've both signed new long-term deals at the club, which is good. And Dan Williams. Wait in behind Allmark and potentially goal-scoring legend Luke Bussenbrew. Let's go. So there we go. Everybody is playing as expected, which is always a nice little bonus. Uh, Lewin says pick up where they left off. We've been on a good run lately. Go and impress me. Um, it worries me a little bit the game saying that we can't win the league here, that I've got my maths wrong, but I don't think I have. Uh, yeah, go and impress me, boys. Let's get out there. Let's put on a display. Let's score some goals. Let's get bust and brew the record. And then we can go celebrate and hopefully go and beat Partick Thistle in the Iron Brew Cup as well. Um... It's a little bit of a second string team for this one, basically because I'm, I'm holding some players back for the Partick Thistle game. 
But I'm hoping that uh, we, you know we'll get the. This team should be good enough. Any team we have, any player that's good enough for our first team should be good enough to win a game in in the Welsh League at this point. So um, there's no real concerns there. Uh, my thought with we'll have try and have a look at Stuart this game as well if things are going well for us. My kind of thought with getting Stuart in is I think that that will mean our strike force will become for sort of coming seasons. It's headed away. Miss header there by Allmark. It comes back and the mistake from Damien Allmark has cost us a goal. It's a bit of a wonder strike to be fair, but not good enough either way. It, was, it should have been cleared. It wasn't. And then it's been whacked back in. Uh, yeah, they've him. it looks like Allmark and Wade have gotten each other's way, haven't they? Uh, and that's a bit of a bit of a kick in the backside. Uh, yeah, so my kind of thought is that Allmark, uh, Simic, Stewart, and then Guto Kingsley will kind of make up our strike force moving forward, uh, sort of as, as a four. Boston Brew will be there as sort of an emergency backup, um, and we'll just kind of we'll kind of see where we go with youngsters from there. That that uh, Kian Peters guy looks like he could become a useful player for us as well. Um, there's a good ball out there for Sears. He's a goal, great goal scoring for me. Chips one in. It's headed away. Luke Buston Brew down there for Maurice. Back for Buston Brew. Is this the moment for Buston Brew? No, it's not. But it is for Maurice. 13 goals now for Adam Maurice. What a signing he has been. Buston Brew with the assist. We're back on level terms. I think I hit uh, show passion before that highlight started. Um, but Sears headed away. Buston Brew. He could have been selfish here. Turned and shot. But he didn't. And Maurice has lathered it. Goalkeeper's got apparently chocolate arms and uh yeah we're in the back of the net for 1-1 one, one. excellent excellent stuff here, right, here we go again Sears it's a bit of a nothing throw can you win the ball back no it's lumped forward but Sam York will pick that up forward for Wait. back for York right, back here again for Williams Williams looks to find Maurice oh Maurice does his man wonderfully Maurice is in Maurice there's Buss and Bruce standing next to him begging for the ball for the tap in for the record but he doesn't give it to him and it is 1-1 at the break in a game that we shouldn't be behind in. But as we so often find ourselves, uh, we are. And we shouldn't be. Uh, what do we want to say? We'll say I'm far from pleased from that, boys. It really wasn't good enough. Some calm. We have faith in those of you who haven't responded. And we'll get back out there. Who's looking nervous? It's uh, Joe Lewis. Here we go. A nice early throw in an attacking area. York. Back there for Maurice. He crosses in. Back post. Oh, he doesn't reach it that far. It's Damien Allmark with the 11th for a second. Then I was wondering if it was Bust and Brew. I thought it was going to Sears, but it wasn't. It's Allmark with his 11th of the season. Uh, Adam Maurice now with a goal and an assist. Let's demand a little bit more, but a perfect start to the second half. Maurice crosses it over. I thought, I tell you what, it's a nice leap by Allmark to get to that and then to control the header into the net as well. Their goalkeeper looks like he's just there just to make up the numbers, doesn't he? Um, but there we go. We recapture the lead nice and early in the second half, and hopefully now we can go on with things. Let's demand a little bit more. Wait's not having it. He's not having a great season. Never mind a great game. Um, let's try him on. Let's try him in a different role, perhaps. As it maybe let's try him as an on gaunch. Uh, see if that makes any difference. See if we can get sort of things moving around him. And if not, we'll bring uh, youngster Dixon on to come in and and uh, play that role for us. But we just haven't particularly played well with a number. Uh, with a number of 10 this season. It just quite hasn't worked. Uh, we'll leave Buston Brew on. I really want him to try and get this record. We'll bring Stewart on so we can have a look at him. We'll play him up there as the poach up. Um, and we will take we will take James Waite off. He's just not doing it for us this year, is he? Fence playmaker for Dixon. And let's get on with things. It's still a tight game. We're only the one goal up. So we've got to be a little bit careful here. I've hit praise just as this highlight started. Hopefully they're not going to score. The double change has taken place. Williams wins that head up. It's not picked up by one of his teammates, though. Colwell brings it forward. Can we get a tackle in? It's there. He lines it up. He un unleashes. And Jaycox made a really good save there in the end. But it really wasn't much power on it. It shouldn't have been as uh, difficult as it looks. Corner comes in. Lewis heads it clear. Bollard goes to pick it up. Nothing comes of that. And I'm just getting a little bit nervous here. Another free kick to defend. Hasn't always been our strength. York heads it down. It's headed back in. and Well, not headed back in, but thumped back in. It does go over the bar. Let's give it maybe a concentrate here when we can. Are we going to see the record this game by Luke Bustenbrew? It doesn't look like we are. Come on, Bustin boy. It's a new name. <laughs> he has a different pronunciation a lot of the times when I'm playing. But there we go. It's a good win. But a little bit disappointing. Buston Brew didn't really get a sniff of goal. The one chance he did have, it wasn't even a half chance, but he used the assist there to um, yeah, to play, uh, play in Maurice. But we'll say it was okay, but it wasn't great. We'll need to be better. 
So there we go. We win against Carna Ford. Adam Marie is an absolute star. It's over to you now. Uh, what is defensive work? Oh, all right. We'll face your defensive work with your goal and assist. It's over to the New Saints now. Can they get the points they need to keep the title race alive? Or will we become champions? We'll be right back to find out. Okay, we have breaking news, and it's transfer news, not a league title. Sorry, guys. Uh, Paul McVay, we have signed him £400 uh, a week for next season. Uh, he'll join us on the 1st of July, 2024. So, obviously, this upcoming summer, he's going to be a squad player. Uh, let's have a quick look at what we've signed here. He's a very good... Um, uh, hopefully a very good, anyway, attacking midfielder. You can see he's got really, really good vision. His technique is good. His passing's okay. We can work on that. But first touch is good. Mentally, he's quite good. And physically, he's, he's quite good as well. So I'm hoping we'll, we'll sort of sit here in sort of number 10 role and or more likely a little bit further back in midfield. Um, and hopefully develop into a really nice sort of ball playing, uh, ball playing midfielder for us. He's right now, he's at Cliftonville in the Northern Irish League. Again, we've been raiding Northern Ireland. He's been playing in their league regularly in their premiership and been doing okay. Um, certainly the last three seasons. So he's been getting his fair share of goals and assists. So I'm hopeful he'll come in and do a good job. The scouts like him, potentially a four and a half star player, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. But I think £400 a week, it's it's really nothing to us these days. So uh, I hope he will do quite well for us. Now, the reason that we're not celebrating a league title here is because the New Saints did manage to go and beat uh, Kevin Druids. Uh, Lawrence Thomas, who of course is on loan from us, or you may not know he's on loan from us, but he is on loan from us. Um, he did his best. He got a goal, uh, got one back after they were 2-0 up, but they couldn't uh, then go and get a second. But as I said, what that means in the league table there, you can see, is we are now 21 points. Why am I doing this again? Uh, but we're 19 points clear with, uh, with uh, seven games to play. If we were to win our next game, or even with a draw, if uh, the New Saints weren't to win it, we would then become champion. So it's a matter of time at this point, but unfortunately, um, we couldn't get it done this very day. But let's have a look at what we're up against now, because we are off to Partick to play, well, Glasgow, I think it is, isn't to play Partick Thistle in the Welsh not the Welsh, in the uh, Iron Brew Cup or the Car Tannox Caramel Wafer Cup, which just makes me want dessert thinking about it. Stephen Presley is their manager, a good manager, um, certainly at this level. Uh, adventurous, standard playing style. Let's have a look at what we're expecting here from the analysis report. We are expecting them to come out in sort of this 4-3-3. Uh, three, three. Uh, now, Burton, who was someone that was uh, recommended for us to look to sign in the comments, Robbie Burton, he is at Partick. We'll have a, a good look at him in this game. But you can see his wages are a little bit high uh, transfer fee, everything about him is just maybe a little bit too much for us to sign. Uh, but we have we have had a scout of him, and I'm just not quite sure he's he's going to work out for us. Uh, but uh, heat map here, we can see they do. I mean, they're compact. They're not sort of too narrow, but they are compact and sit a little bit deeper. Passing network there, we can see again uh, deep in their own half, and their key passes. But someone, a team that sits so deep. Not many key passes over the top, so we'll hopefully be able to exploit that as well with a high line. This is the team we're sending out. We're going back for wingers with this one. So it's Jaycock in goal. It's Burke, Reese Williams, Gosney and Sears as the back four. York and Williams in midfield. Ab Gareth comes in, of course, one of the stars of the team with James Waite and Adam Maurice. It's Simic goes back in up top. Let's hope we can get ourselves into another final of the Iron Brew Cup. So there we go. Everybody is lining up as expected. We're sticking with James Waite. He is club captain after all. So we've got to just hope that he uh, he sort of recaptures his form. Um, what do we want to say to this one? Uh, we've been on a good run lately. You've got an impressed me. You've got nothing to lose here. Let's show everyone how good we are. Let's show everyone, that. Let's show everyone what we're capable of. Uh, I like that. Some calm. We have faith. Let's hope Simic is on top form as well. Now, while waiting for the game to start, one thing I did mention over the weekend in my channel news update, I sort of floated the idea of having a um, having sort of a viewers player of the year at the end of season awards. Uh, it seems like something that, that people were keen on. So with that being the, the case, start to uh, leave me your thoughts in the comments over who you would like to nominate as uh, the viewers player of the year for this season for Barla Town. And then what I'll do is I'll put together a poll um, and, uh, and then everybody can sort of vote ready for the ready for the end of season awards. So, um, yeah, nominees in the comments, guys. Who has been this year's player of the year, according to you, the viewers? And that is a stunning strike. A little bit unlucky. It's come off the bar. Burke hacks it into touch. And maybe bullet dodge there. Um, we've not had too much of the game so far. Let's try a demand more. We've come back into it a little bit there with a, looks like a shot, a little bit of extra possession. Uh, nice little spell of play for us. Um... 
I was tempted to go with the two strikers up top again here, but ultimately, as you can see, I decided against it to go back to the wingers. Here we go with Burke inside there for Sam York. What can he do? Lumps it forward there. Nice ball for Williams. Williams slides it in for Apgareth. Apgareth does his man. Apgareth. Oh, it's second time of asking. It's Apgareth. Fourth goal of the year, and he did it all himself. He beat two defenders. A little bit of luck, perhaps, with a deflection on the second, uh, the second sort of tackle. But, job done, 1-0, up Gareth, the man of the moment yet again. Look at this, first time I think he nutmegged him, excellent stuff there. Second defender, a little bit of luck, a block shot, but it came straight back to him. Calm head, back of the nets, 1-0, Barla Town. What a signing up Gareth has been. All right, I dare say he will be getting a, a nomination from, uh, from Groundhopper for player of the season. Uh, and he may even go and win it. Who knows? Here we go with Sears. Nice ball inside there for Wait for Williams. Is there one more? He shuffles it across for Sam York. Oh, and Sam York. What a strike that is for his second goal of the season. Nice team play as well. Just keep shifting it across to the man. Came running in. And what a strike it was. You could see it coming a mile out. It's always happening in slow motion. Wait, Williams sees York. Look at the space. Look at the time. Look at the finish. Top of the net, excellent stuff from Sam York, and he is a star of the future. Uh, forget what his new contract is worth, um, 400 pounds a week, but look at that. I mean, that is almost English Premier League quality. Um, he's an absolute star of the future. What a signing he could be, and Connor Gosney, he celebrates his new contract with a goal as well now, his fourth of the season, and we've exploded into, this sec into the end of this first half, and that is 3-0 now against Championship Partick Thistle. I think it's Falkirk uh, that awaits us in the final. I think it was them that beats uh, a bit Wraith in the se other semi-final. There we go. £600 a week for Gosling. He is a star player now, um, which isn't ideal. We'll try and go back to that screen for you uh, after the break. Actually, can I click on his name here? Um, there we go. He is a star player, £600 a week. But again, I think he is actually someone that's going to start when he's fit. Him and Reese uh, Reese Williams are, without a doubt, I think, our first two uh, centre-backs at this point. So I didn't really, I, ideally, as I said, I try and offer them the least, the lowest uh, squad status that they'll accept. Um, but that was the best that we could get out of him. Uh, we've got to say, maybe an assertive, uh, you might be winning here. Don't let your performance levels drop, boys. We'll celebrate at the full-time whistle. Some calm, we have faith for those that are playing well. We've got a motivated-looking Reese Williams there. So we'll go with some passion for him. And let's get back out there. And, yeah, if we can get another goal or two, I might look to bring on uh, the new boy, Stuart. It'd be good to get him off the mark. Um, in terms of goals. But we'll wait and see. Maurice, decent ball, headed away. Can we get to that, or are we going to get done on the break here? Uh, the the one problem, I think, of the way I just generally set this team up is that we always look a bit of a threat of conceding a goal from our own attacking set pieces if the other team gets it. We always look like we're liable to get hit on the break. That is a little bit of a weak finish, if I'm honest. I'm a, we'll show some passion. I'd like to see that again. I don't know if it took a deflection. It looked like something Jaycock probably should have been saving, if I'm honest. Uh, let's have a look at him here. He's going the other way and just maybe the wet ground. Yeah, going one way. Change of direction on the wet ground. Didn't go his way. And it's tucked itself in that far corner. Just keeps the game alive, which isn't really what we wanted. Um, we've asked them to show a bit of passion here. Just keep themselves in the game. I think the next shout might be some praise, given that we are relatively playing well as a team. Um, is there any changes we want to make? Wait, again, is not having a great game in there, so let's take him out. Uh, I can see gate match fitness is becoming a bit of a problem here for some players, isn't it? Um, once yeah, once we've won the league, that might be something we need to look to, uh, to remedy, uh, just giving them some game time here and there. But... Uh, once we've won the league, we've essentially... Well, actually, you know what we can do? This We could use... The Simic just had it away. We could use the league to keep players fit, ready for the for the cup games. And hopefully, we're going to have an Iron Brew Cup final here coming up. Ball goes into the box. It's interestingly cleared there. I thought the goalkeeper may have come for that. But Maurice has won it back. It's there for Simic. And Simic puts it over the top. And it looked a relatively simple chance as well. Um, we'll give him some more praise. We've, we've done relatively well here at this point. Uh, we'll just go to the end, I think. We've got another free kick. Maurice over it. High ball. Easy for the keeper. Barely had to move, really, did he? Southwood for that one. Ball gets lumped forward. And what we don't want to do is get it back to 3-2. Jaycock just about does enough. We might go off attacking. And we might just start and close this thing down a little bit here, I think. Um... 88th minute. It's not. It's one of these games that it's felt like it's won, but we really could have done a better job of this, I think. 
Uh, so we'll do that and hopefully defend this corner. Otherwise, it will get to squeaky bum time, won't it? Can we get this away, please, boys? We can. Not completely clear. Reese Williams goes out to charge down the attempted shot. And what a block that was. Well done, Reese Williams. Absolute star he's been. Still pressure on us here, though. He's, Burton's gone past his man. Cleared away by Gosney. Sears completes the clearance. Comes back in. They're just lumping it forward now, aren't they? Here we go. Dixon with a chance to hit them on the break. Here we go. Ewan Dixon. What can he do? He plays in Simic. Maurice is in space on the left. Will he square it back? You've got to square it back from there. No, he doesn't. He goes himself. And it's the 14th goal of the season for Adam Maurice. Second of the episode. That is the uh, tie. Done and dusted. We are going back to a final. In the Iron Brew Cup, we will be defending this trophy all the way to the final. A nice little counter-attack, and I wonder why it's unassisted. Did it take a deflection? Um, goalkeeper has punched it into his own net, effectively. Well, I tell you what, Simic has been robbed of an assist there. I don't understand what's happened here. What are we getting a look at? How can you be offside from your own shot? That makes no sense, game. Um, anyway, something funny's happened there, and that's why there hasn't been an assist given. But really, Simic should have an assist for that in my books. We've come straight back for another highlight. Are they going to collapse in a heap now that they've uh, conceded that goal? Or are they going to keep the fight going? Another great block by the defender there. Gosney this time. We keep putting pressure on. He is surely offside. Reese Williams wins the ball back. I tell you what, Reese Williams and Gosney, what a partnership they are looking for already. Already, excuse me, for next season and beyond. Uh, I tell you what, they're not laying down, are they? The highlight continues to become a bit of a long, old, scrappy highlight as well. Can we get a foot in here somewhere? They keep possession. They go back. We should be able to win that. We do with Sam York. But again, Pardick Thistle have the ball. Another ball over the top. Is he offside there again? Jaycock makes the save regardless. Uh, but it was indeed offside. So a little bit of a long-winded way to get to nothing there. But there we go. We go back to the final. Back to uh, Hamden Park where we will take on. I'm pretty sure I'll check uh, when we get back to the main screen here. But I'm pre we'll say don't get complacent. I'm fairly certain it's going to be um, it's going to be a Falkirk in the in the in the final. But there we go, a really really good performance there. Reese Williams, no, that was Daniel Williams that got mayor of the match. Well, he played well as well, obviously. Um, can we go and have a look at the final, please? And thank you, game. It should be yeah, Falkirk in the final. So that's something to look forward to. Have they scheduled a date for that yet? Probably not. It'll be on the 18th of the second. But that's it for today, though, guys. I have a quick update of the league table there. We are going to win the league, and we can do it next episode with a win. So that's what we'll do. We'll be back. We'll come back for Barrytown away from home. A little bit more revenge for that defeat in the <laughs> in the Welsh League Cup semi-final. A win there, and we will be champions. And then we have uh, Connors Key in the Welsh Cup quarterfinal. So hopefully we'll take another step towards another trophy uh, in that one. Uh, we can see the final booked in there for us. Um... We might do the new Saints and that final as well. That's all for next time, guys. Until then, I've been Aussie Thank you so much for watching. Take care.